one. Guys, there is the P51 Mustang. Hello everyone, it's James Chamberlain and today we are out here at Plains of Fame Air Museum in Chino, California and we're out here to see something extra special. Today we're going to get to see a Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bomber actually flying up in the air. I'm going to be getting footage of that and funny thing actually, they actually have a Flying Fortress right out here behind me right there. Unfortunately, currently it is unable to fly, but they are working on restoring it. Today, though, is going to be a special occasion because it is quite rare to actually get to see one of these things flying. So I am very, very happy to be here for this occasion today, and I hope you guys enjoy watching the footage. There's also going to be a P-51D Mustang flying, which obviously that's going to be great to see as well. So we have a lot of great stuff to cover today, and I cannot wait to actually get out there and go ahead and do these tours and get to see them flying. So guys, right as we walk out of the main hangar after entering, here it is right here. This is the Mustang that we're going to be seeing in flight later today. We're also gonna get some footage of the startup, which is of course going to be quite the awesome thing to see as well. Look at that right over here around the side in the other hangar right up here front and center is the F4U Corsair. We actually saw this bad boy flying quite a few vlogs ago but I got some footage of this flying and that was an insane vlog. Highly recommend you guys check it out if you haven't already. There we go. Unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to get you the most complete shot of that takeoff. It just flew right over us, quite literally. I was really surprised there. I was expecting for it to be much louder, and I was really expecting it to come up over those two hangar buildings. Unfortunately, though, it was already well past the takeoff by the time we actually spotted it, and I do apologize for that. Hopefully, we can get some much better footage of the next launch, but it was really hard to see in here.
So guys, this is uh, James Chamberlain, um, and then my YouTube channel, Braden Scopo. Just uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell to turn on notice. Absolutely, link in the description. Yeah, link in the description below. Awesome. There it is guys, there is the P-51 Mustang. Doesn't look like that's the V-17 just yet, but it should be up in the air quite soon. And then they're gonna meet up in the air and fly right over our location. There it is guys, there's the Flying Fortress. Take a look at that. Hey guys, now I've been here quite a few times, but I did not know they had a model room. We have never seen this. Let's take a look in here and see this today for the first time. This is cool, guys. Wow, take a look at all of these components. This is just insane. Pretty much everything you could want. All of the different acrylics and paints. So what happened was when Ed started the museum in 57, he was a modeler, and so he would model airplanes. And then over the years, people gave him airplanes. So everything in these containers, I got about 3,500 models that people have given us. Wow. That's cool. I got about 2,000 out on the floor. That's cool. I love building and projects and working on stuff. Really? So it's, it's right in line with what I enjoy for sure. For a pack of cigarettes. Huh. And uh, see the plane he was making there, the Steel Dove? And he was using gun shells so to make it. So this is a 100-year-old model, guys, made by a German prisoner of war. For a pack of cigarettes. Yep. Traded for a pack of cigarettes. Wow. Then this kit is a tester's kit during World War II. And because things were scarce, it's all cardboard. And you can see how you glue all the cardboard together. It's cool. You, sometimes you have to get really creative and you can yes. make some amazing things. Oh yeah, check out the bombers down here. Take a look at all of these models, guys. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds everywhere. Look at this, they've got the Goodyear blimps here. Wow, that's cool. For those of you guys who are into any type of modeling or building, I know you guys will absolutely love seeing this collection. Guys, this right here is a Bell X-2. It's an experimental aircraft that we used to break the speed of sound. So this was, when they were running those experiments, this is the type of craft they would have used, and this is one of them right here. They would have been using this to try to break the speed of sound. That is really cool. So the top speed of this was apparently 2,094 miles an hour. That's almost 2,100 miles an hour, which is definitely quite fast. That is really fast. 
Here we are guys under the B-17 that was flying earlier. Now I can really give you guys some up close shots right here. Take a look at the exhaust setup and turbocharger right here. This is just their turbocharger it looks like. It's just directly out. No real exhaust setup for this. They don't need any of that. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go on up the ladder. Take a look at this, guys. Wow. Wow, take a look at this up here, guys. Look at where we are. Wow. This is neat. It's crazy to think just a couple hours ago this thing was actually up in the air. Look at that. This is neat. So these are how they would drop the bombs right up here. Those doors would open up and they would drop them down. You just have this little plank right up here. Now imagine this being up in the sky, up 30,000 feet up in the air, and this being open. Of course, considering the temperature up that high, you wouldn't be able to be out here at that time, but still, this is crazy. Here they've got some relics, some old photos, all sorts of neat stuff up here. Here you got a 50 caliber gun right up there. All the different seating. This should look fairly familiar if you guys have seen my last vlog from out here at Plains of Fame where we went into their, their own B-17 that we looked at earlier today. Here is the top of the ball turret right there. Look at that thing. Somebody would have to sit in there for hours at a time. Here is one of the 50 caliber waist guns right there. There is the other one in here back here. You can see some of the mechanical workings back there guys. So that was the B-17 Flying Fortress. That is neat.